Hi everyone, it's Miri Abundance and welcome back to another food diary of 365 days where I show you how I got to real recovery. Let's see what I challenge today. You see much more plant milk in my coffee there in the morning. That was a huge step for me. My breakfast was the usual chocolate oat um, oatmeal, which I just love oatmeal with chocolate and dates um, just sweet cakey but the thing is I just used far too much water there I just kind of yeah I would say abused <laughs> the oats on a regular basis um, you will see the chocolate oats that I make nowadays if I crave them and I do crave them often because yeah genuinely I just love them and that is also how I justified just eating it every day but the thing is you have to be able to eat whatever you crave not only the safe foods and so you also see um, orange there with yogurt but you also see that the yogurt is quite diluted why was I not able to eat just the, the pure yogurt on top well it's because i just thought i have to run away from the extreme hunger and keep myself as filled up as humanly possible and that is a problem because we want to eat dense foods and as long as you're kidding yourself with volume foods you cannot rewire these fears of calories i had some of these waffles vegan syrup waffles together with i think that's soy like vegetable protein um, crispies toasted in the microwave <laughs> I know it sounds weird but I can actually recommend that you just have to stay at the microwave because it can burn and it can actually yeah make flames if you <laughs> if you don't stay aside um, but it's super yummy but what I actually wanted there was some kind of candy bar right I just yeah, that, that was processed. It was a big step for me on that day. Also, just having a snack as well. Also, I had some grapes. Why? Because I felt the snack didn't fill me up. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that That is telling by itself, right? So that was the next meal. It's my usual banana ice cream that I had there. But I would say I would pro probably have to rename it and it's not only an ice cream like it's not actually an ice cream it's more like uh, an ice cream soup because it was very much diluted with ice cubes and you also see the nuts and soy flakes there which i kept challenging every day because yeah it just didn't get any easier there why because i was still running away from so many fears <laughs> you see the banana ice cream soup almost spilling over there that also tells you how much liquid there is in there with my ice cream from that i make nowadays it is super dense there's no liquid even if it melts it will not actually go out of the Oh, so you see my husband there, it's David, and I at that time actually learned to be fine with him exercising and uh, me staying at home, which was a big, big deal. That's why I showed you the photos. You see, I challenged pasta again, like yesterday in the food diary at that night, with also a whole food fat dip, which you guys know I was very afraid of fats even plant fats and whole food fats so i challenged this again because a challenge is not done by doing it once in your life and then never again but you have to challenge it as as many times as is necessary until you are no more afraid of the food that you have been challenging so that is my aim with every kind of challenge i do and you also see potatoes there. I think we just had remains there. It's also carrots and parsley. I just always had kind of the, the feeling that I had to keep adding vegetables, which is also a thing that I don't do anymore. Um, I'm not healthifying things anymore. Now we're coming to what I eat nowadays, like one year later in real recovery. And this is a banana ice cream I made with mango on that morning and you see the difference in the consistency there is no added water like just a teeny tiny bit to uh, get the blender going and that is just something that 
yeah, that it just I think in recovery that has to happen that we are fine with just eating dense foods. I like I am so glad I have this back in my life. I had a snack and I was craving chips and these are yeah, these type of chips that you can see in the picture. It's with sour cream. Yeah, like the next time I was craving something, it was actually again the chocolate oatmeal. And I was not craving cake there, but this actual oatmeal. Also with um, a coffee latte, like a milky coffee, it's with plant milk. Um, I am not replacing proper cake with this, but I was like specifically craving these oats and I don't call them cake anymore because if I want cake, I eat cake. And that is, uh, yeah, that's the huge difference there and it makes all the difference. Later, I microwaved some Müller milk in banana, in banana flavor. It's a kind of milk um, that I still had open. It wanted to be eaten so it doesn't go off made a kind of Snickers style out of it also with soy flakes and oats then later I had white rice it's basmati rice with soy sauce and lots of tahini and together with brussels sprouts spinach red pepper and some coconut tomato lentil dish red lentil dish that we had in the freezer also added some avocado and cream cheese and soy yogurt and I eat as much soy yogurt and tahini is there that you see and also avocado as much as I want and much more than you see on the plate there. I just really add as much as I like to and as much as I feel um, like and also you see the lettuce there. I hope you like this format. Let me know if you do and I see you next video. Don't forget to like this video. Bye!